This is the Blue Studio Energy, and today we're going to be tearing this down and, uh, well, replacing the motherboard, actually. And we'll start by taking off the back case. Now, I've actually taken this one apart before, uh, so there's going to be one different difference in the teardown, which I'll show you later. It's easy to take off. And then now, take off all of the screws surrounding the back using just a small Phillips screwdriver. This is the screw with the warranty sticker on it. So, just keep that in mind. Now that all the screws are loose, you're going to want to take these out and make sure you know where each goes. I'm going to just turn it upside down. So there are two long screws and the rest are shorter screws. The two long screws, the first goes in the top left. And then the second goes in the top center. All the rest of the small screws just go in the surrounding areas. Now that we have the all the screws out, uh, we're going to start by prying the edges up off of this screen. So from the very edge of the screen, don't get the glass of the screen, but there's a little plastic ridge in between the case and the screen, so you can kind of pry this open. I'm just going around with my fingernail and it is unlatching some of these connectors and now we can pull this straight off. As you can see I've done a modification here before and this is what I was talking about. I added this blue tape here. It used to be a clear film a clear film uh, type tape that was covering this uh, but I just replaced it with that tape so the film stuff it looked like this it's actually quite messy because it has some sort of lead type stuff in between it it might be some tape uh, used for thermal uh, distribution but I'm it's most likely not a big issue so you're going to be taking that off and it kind of goes underneath underneath this area so you can't really get all of it off as you can see there's a tiny bit of film still there but what I'm doing is going to be replacing this motherboard with with a different one that I have I'm going to take off the battery connector so this is the battery connector up here is the digitizer this is the screen itself, the LCD screen. This goes to the buttons on the side. So this just unlatches and it can be pulled out. Now the motherboard uh, should almost be free. There's one more connector here, which looks like it goes down to the charging area down here. So you can take that off too. Now there's a little antenna connector right here. We can unplug that. And now the motherboard, now that was not a safe way to remove the motherboard, but that is the general idea. You want to pry this up and out and then this is the whole motherboard and I'm going to be replacing it with actually from one from a different one I have uh, I'm actually this this phone is having problems with the buttons down here and instead of just trying to fix this one I just want to switch motherboards I don't since I have everything on here it all configured the way I want decided why not just switch motherboards
And you don't need to take off the camera part because it's connected onto the motherboard. So what I want to do is take this one and put it back into place here. So, put this down, make sure all the connectors are out of the way so that it can be plugged back in. And then we need to put everything back in place. We can start with, well the battery probably should be last. Battery should probably be the first to take off and the last to put back on, just to be safe. So I'm putting the digitizer back in place. You just snap right in place, very easy. Put the antenna back in place. Okay, that should be good. Put the wires back in place. Now the most difficult part is probably just getting this little button back in place, the buttons back in place, which isn't even that difficult. You just kind of move it into place inside and then put the latch down. Now, finally, I'm going to plug the battery back in. And actually, before I put this back together, I am going to test it real quick. I'm going to put this SD card in, and I'm going to push the home button, the power button, I, I, I meant. And so, the previous phone, uh, this phone, which I just took the motherboard out of, had the buttons all messed up. So this phone should be working, since this is a new uh, digitizer and um, screen and everything. Okay, and it looks like everything is working. The home button's working. Now that I know it's working, I'm just gonna turn it right back off. I'm going to put the case back on. Um, I'm gonna take the SD card out again. Once this shuts down, okay, it's shut down. Take the SD card out. Put the case back on. So the case should just snap back in place, kind of like how we took it off. Um, it looks like you'll want to put the, the top on first, because the b largest ridge is the headphone jack area. And then everything should just snap back to place. Okay, and now we can just put the screws back in place. Now just put back everything in place. And there you have a working phone. So there's a basic idea on how you can take apart the Blue Studio Energy. Thank you all for watching. I hope this helps someone.